Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher on YouTube. Today is 14th of September 2017 and today I'm going to introduce a new asset into the discussions on our channel and it is as you see on your screen Bitcoin. This, this chart in front of you is a daily chart of Bitcoin as it is priced in US dollars. Recently, of course, there has been a lot of interest in Bitcoin, in um, the communities that are into cryptocurrencies, as well as on the mainstream news channel. So we're going to join the discussions, and um, the first thing to look at is the tendency again of this asset to follow cycles as it is the case for price discovery of any asset. The most important thing for us at the moment is to try to determine the length of cycles that Bitcoin follows as it is priced in US dollars. The price action in US in uh, Bitcoin this year is dramatically different from the price action last year. This year Bitcoin has gained huge percentages. So I'm going to look at 2017 only for now in um, in an attempt to discover the type of cycles that this asset follows. What happened prior to 2017 might be somewhat different. Now, it seems to me that Bitcoin follows price cycles that last anywhere between two to three months. We see in the beginning of 2017 there was a low, which then followed by another low in mid-March, so that is a difference of about three months, even over that. The next low happened in uh, late May, that's two and a half months of a cycle. The next cycle was relatively short, just under two months, and we are now in a cycle which I think is going to finish soon with a cycle low, or possibly even has already finished and which has been going on for about two months. So let's have a look at the projections for the, for the performance of Bitcoin over the next, I guess, several weeks. So zooming in, this is the same daily chart, but stretching back only to May rather than the beginning of 2017. A couple of things to notice here. Firstly, it has not been often when, when Bitcoin has dipped deep enough below the 10-day moving average. This blue line here is the 10-day moving average. We are now quite deep below the 10-day moving average relative to how deep Bitcoin has dipped in 2017. So that's one indicator that shows a potential for a rally in Bitcoin, a potential for an increase in Bitcoin price over the next several weeks. Another indicator is that we are close to oversold levels on the 10-day RSI. And uh, with this huge upward move in Bitcoin in 2017, it has not been often, it has been actually quite rare when Bitcoin has actually been oversold on the RSI. So the fact that we are close to oversold has a potential to, to indicate a cycle low at the moment. Well, even if it's not a cycle low, and we are still to see the cycle low over the next several weeks, what are the possible price levels we might move to? 
Well, first of all, the lowest that I predict over the next several weeks is this support level just under 3000 formed by these recent two peaks in summer. However, I, I'm not sure if Bitcoin price is going to dip that low to the price level of around 3000, although it is possible. There are a couple of other support levels based on the Fibonacci retracement levels over this recent cycle, which has been going on for two months. We have retraced 38% of the rally, which is often a support level based on these Fibonacci numbers. The next support level is 50% retracement, which is still considerably higher than the support level at about 3000. And interestingly, based on Fibonacci, the next support level, 62% retracement, coincides with the support level based on these recent peaks in summer at the price level close to 3000. So there are a number of factors several support factors indicating that this price of 3000 is going to be a very strong support level. However, before that there are at least a couple of support levels and we are bouncing off one of those support levels at the moment. So there is a potential that we have already finished this two-month cycle and we are going to move upwards from now. If the uncertainty in Bitcoin community continues, we might go down to 50% retracement at the price level of close to 3300. And the uncertainty that I'm mentioning is over the last several days there have been some information coming up coming up, coming from China uh, which hints to possibility of China closing down some of Bitcoin exchanges back in China. Um, that is my projections on this zoomed in chart. Zooming out over the next several weeks, given that we have finished this two month cycle, which I think is a likely scenario, we are going to move upwards. How high are we going to move? That is a very interesting question. Actually, there are quite a few analysts who consider Bitcoin to be in the bubble phase, which might pop anytime, anytime soon, even if it, it is the case. I think Bitcoin should at least retest recent highs that is close to $5,000 and from current levels that's a potential gain of at least 20% that is quite considerable compared to many other financial assets. That is a feature of price discovery in cryptocurrencies. They have been very volatile. There are potential there is a potential for huge gains as well as considerable losses. Over the last several days Bitcoin lost about 20% of its value in US dollars. So I'm not in the camp that thinks Bitcoin has already reached its peak and is going to experience the phase where the bubble bursts. So I think Bitcoin is going to reach the recent all-time highs, pull back for a while and then break through those all-time highs. The reason I think that Bitcoin is not going considerably down to price levels of 2000 and even lower is, as we all know, Central banks all over the world have printed trillions and trillions of paper currency and it is going to lead to asset prices in different areas, cryptocurrencies, other financial prices, precious metals exploding to the upside. 
So that is my analysis of the Bitcoin price. If you like this introduction of new asset into our discussions, hit the like under the video, make your comments. It's quite interesting for me to learn more about this uh, financial asset, this, this world of cryptocurrencies. And uh, there is a high chance I can learn quite a lot from your comments. Stay tuned as there is another very interesting, I hope, interesting thing coming up on this channel, which is a fictional portfolio. What is it? Come back to the next videos, subscribe to the channel to see what it is. Thank you for your attention. I wish you luck.